a first-person shooter, and a real-time strategy game, it's Silica. Hello, everybody. Genesis King here, and welcome into today's video. We are taking a look at Silica, a first-person and RTS game all in one. So the premise to Silica in what sentence, without diving too much into it, because there's a whole intro video you get to watch when you load into the game, found a foreign planet via these jump gates, essentially, or teleportation, found a very valuable resource on that planet. Humans go mine, humans find alien, aliens not happy. So that is the premise of the game. In the game, there is three game modes. There's prospector, strategy, and arena. So arena is essentially a any first person shooter game you can think of, hop in, shoot at anything that moves, have a hell of a lot of fun. Prospector, on the other hand, uh, is a little bit of a story-driven, not necessarily story-driven, but objective-driven, uh, going around the planet, searching for Balterium, and that is exclusively in first-person shooter mode. So what we're going to highlight today, because real-time strategy is my fun thing I like to play, we are going to take a look at strategy, and strategy is actually where not only can you do strategy, you can swap between first-person shooter and the RTS mode. So we're going to pick a map here. I don't think it really matters. Um, Let's go Rift Basin. Sure. As you can see over here, guys, you can play online. I was looking uh, when I was recording this. There is a decent number of people online. That's always a concern with a new game, but it seems like there's enough people online. Uh, you could hop onto one of these maps uh, and find a server or host a server and people will hop in and play with you. But for today, we are going to play single player. All right, so in this game mode, there is three options if you're playing single player uh, that you can choose from. So humans, humans, humans versus aliens, and humans versus humans versus aliens. Uh, so essentially the premise within the storyline being not only are you competing with the aliens to um, survive and, and be able to mine this stuff, but there's another human uh, company, if you will, that is competing for the same resources that you are. So we're going to do humans versus aliens today, just to make it a little bit more simplified for this video. Uh, and we're going to hop in as the humans and we're going to kick things off in commander mode. So once we load in, there's a couple things first off that you need to know, uh, and I'll do a deep dive uh, into the factions uh, in this game. If you guys want to leave that down in the comments, uh, I'll do a deeper dive into mechanics, controls, things like that. Um, if you're interested in something like that, leave it down in the comments. But the premise and the first thing you got to do when you hop in here is get yourself a refinery. Uh, can I plop you? There we go. And you got to get yourself a refinery because you got to mine the Balterium, uh, which you can see on the maps with this nice little logo right here. Uh, and it's the it's the spiky stuff. You can you can see the spiky stuff. Crystals, I guess, technically speaking. And then we've got another deposit over here. So not a bad starting starting spot. Uh, we've got some resources right next door to us. When you first come into this mode, you got to get the refinery built before you can do anything else. So I will see you guys when that refinery is done building. Okay, so as that refinery is building, I want to just point out the troops that you get. So we get riflemen. If I can rotate my camera. Here we go. Start out with some uh, of these what they call light quads. You get yourself um, some scouts and you get yourself some riflemen. So the scouts are going to be a little bit quicker than the riflemen, obviously, and the quads are going to be quicker than that, but not have... Much, uh, much armor. So we're going to just kind of position them. I think we'll move some of these guys just up on top of here. I don't know if moving them on top of the building gives them more range or not, um, but we're going to go with it. Let's get the light quads uh, out and scouting about. If I can grab this one when they separate. There we go. Um, I want you to come back here. All right. So now that we've got our refinery up and running, we get a harvester. Uh, and as you can imagine, this harvester is going to mine that Valterium, and that is what we need for our resources up here to build more buildings and to train more troops. As I mentioned, once that refinery is up and running, that is actually going to unlock uh, or start unlocking 
other buildings for you to make. So you can see here we've got our barracks and light vehicle factory. So let's go ahead and plop that down. Can I rotate you and fit you back here? No? Well, uh, right there. Yes. So we'll plug that gap. So we'll get our barracks up. I think we're going to want to do a light vehicle factory. Um, where all can I fit you? Can I? Ooh, right there. Right there sounds good. So get those up. And the other important thing I just want to point out here is the research facility. So this guy is what is going to allow you to unlock better troops, more troops, more options to train, um, all of that good stuff. And unfortunately, uh, it does cost 3,500 Balterium. Um, so we are at 3,000. We're going to have to wait for our harvester to get some Balterium collected. So once these guys come online, we'll start training up some more troops, start burning through our resources a little bit quicker. Uh, once this guy drops off, I do want to get another harvester back here. So it seems like this will be fairly safe to harvest from. As I mentioned, guys, uh, in this mode, you can pop into and out of uh, strategy and first person shooter mode. So how do you do that? You hit T pops up. Let's pop in his infantry. And yeah, one of the downsides to this is actually your troops kind of just start, the AI starts controlling them. So they're going to run out and everything. So let's run out on a scout mission with this guy. Uh, and yeah, the AI will also start building things while you're away. But you can see guys, as we pop up onto this hill, here's the base. This is literally what we just built. Uh, you can see the stuff building in the background, our main base here, uh, just over that ridge. You can't really see it. Maybe if I jump, uh, there's the light factor we threw out there and our barracks. I believe is somewhere over there. Can't really see it, but yeah. So anytime you want to switch to first person, if, if there's a battle you want to be down here for, just got to hit T. Uh, and when you want to swap back, hit T again. All right, this guy's coming back, which means we should get enough. I think, oh, that's literally actually where I would have plopped this. So you can see guys, I didn't notice this until just now, uh, but the AI, while we were in first person, did decide this was a good spot for a what looks like a refinery. I hope it's a refinery, uh, which is actually literally where I would have wanted to place one because there's four nice five deposits down here. All right, I am going to send. Did I get another quad Uh, where now oh, we got to get those resources deposited first. Oh, did you burn through that already? Oh, that was not a big deposit. All right, there goes that one. Let's run our infantry down here and get this guy killed. What are you? Oh, you're up on the thing. Oh, oh, crap. Go kill that crab, please. So, yeah, guys, these are the aliens. Um, You call them bugs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, We need to get around. Run, specifically. Rifleman, get up here, please. Oh, you dead. I wish you could control specific units, and maybe you can. But it seems like every time I've done it, I have spawned back at the main base, so. If I select him and hit T, does that pop me into... No, it does not. All right, let's swap back. All right, so we have enough resources now. Uh, we can actually come in and grab ourselves our research facility, which we'll go ahead and plop right here in the middle. Uh, and that's going to be the way we may just like run over these mountains. Oh my God, they can. But yeah, that research is going to be the way we unlock bigger, better and more bad. You know what vehicles? All right, it looks like we need like people maybe up here. Can I get you up there? Yeah, I feel like we need to be up here. And again, I don't know. Oh, there's the light quads. Okay. I don't know if being like up on this gives me more range or not as a like as a rifleman, what have you. Feels like maybe it does. P potentially. Gotta get these bugs killed. Come on. Oh, you guys are terrible shots. Alright, 
he's down. All right, you guys. Scout up this way, please. All right, there's our research facility. We've got enough resources. Let's get that going. Uh, and honestly, we need we need more firepower. Can you guys shoot down? No, you don't even see them. Oh crap, pull back. Ah! Kill it! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Okay, got it. Those are their super light units, so. Uh, let's actually pull back to, like. Kill. Okay, that one's dead. Is that one dead? They are. Alright, I want you to shoot at that as it comes over the wall, so. Let's get back up there. Uh, you come over here as well. Yeah, I will see you guys when our research is done. All right, guys, so we got the next tech upgrade as we're getting hit with more bugs here, and they seem to be coming this way, which is interesting. Can I pop in a first-person shooter and get in on this action? They're over this way. They're over this way. They're over this way. Ah! Ouch. Okay. Ah, it's so cool you can pop in. Now let's run over here because they seem to be coming from this direction. So I'm actually I'm gonna let the AI handle the base for a little while uh, as we kind of come out here. I just want to see if we can get into a fight. Come on, this is where they were coming from earlier, wasn't it? Well, we're going to hang out at the base uh, and we're going to see if somebody comes at us. But I will say, guys, this the, the graphics on this game are quite impressive. Quite impressive. Look at that. Look at that. So cool. All right. So the AI looks like they're building something else already up there. Ooh, here we go. 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 We are running towards something. What are we running towards, boys? I can actually take over this quad. I want to take over this quad. No, come back. Can I see anything over there? No, I can't. Oh, there's a target. Yep. I'm not going to get to it, though. They're going to have to go deal with that. The AI, AI tends to run the infantry around and go do that stuff. I want a quad, damn it. Oh, here we go. There's a big bug. That is a big bug, boys. Take that sucker down. He's no, he's not down. He's not down. He's not down. Now he's down. Oh, I got what got me. Oh, no, they had a ranged unit. Oh, crap. Let's pop back into tactical. Oh yeah, the scorpions. I think these guys are ranged, right? Pretty sure he's ranged. Yeah, all right, pull back guys. All right, so we do have a heavy quad up. Looks like the AI got to building those. They look basically like Humvees with a giant Gatling gun on the top. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, Rifleman, I don't, I don't want you going down there. Get back up here, boys. All right, so yeah, heavy quad. Uh, I want to get some light armored cars going. And I want some heavies queued up because we know we're going to need it. Um, I'm also going to, as soon as we get more resources, we're going to drop a refinery over here. So yeah, guys, that is, ooh, here we go. Go, go heavy quad. Get up that hill. Are you gonna have a, no, you need to come around this way. Hit the gas, boy. Hit the gas. Fire on him, gentlemen. Oh, you're gonna get got. Oh, he's got so much health. 
you need to get your butt up here. Um, Rifleman, help! Uh, Light Quad also needs to come down here and help. Oh my god. You're wrecking my infantry. Come on, take him down, take him down. Oh, why do you run at it? Run away! Is the heavy quad in range? Oh, it is. Alright, run. Get up there, dude. Come, come on. Gonna, gonna hit that gas. Gotta get some heavier stuff on this. Alright, this is my armored car. My armored car is available. Let's get down here. And get that taken out. That scout is screwed. Yeah, you are tanky. There we are slowly getting him down. Yeah, you need to focus on him, please. Thank you. That's that's the bigger threat right there. He's he's damaging our base. Uh no, dude, fire right there. There's the light armored car open it up. And he's down. Boys, come up. Run. Ooh, guys. Ooh, we got a Goliath. Um, we might be slightly in trouble here. I need some heavy infantry, uh, and I need you all to run down here. That sucker is not going to want to go down very easily. Got to get our heavy infantry down here. And yeah, did I mention you can play as the bugs, guys? D did, did, I, uh, did I mention that? Yeah. All right, let's get that next research up and running. God, he's so tanky. Heavy, uh, right here, right here, right here. There's the rockets. Ooh, that's doing damage. That's doing good damage. Uh, can I get you to run up there, please? Oh, he's coming for the heavy infantry. He's coming for the heavy infantry. And he got the car. The car, is it dead? The car's dead. Keep firing those rockets, my man. Oh, he's dead. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Um. Heavy quads. No, 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 no. Cancel those. More light armored cars. Oh, no. He's on top of the base. He's on top of the base. Uh, heavies, so many heavies. I need you guys to launch your rockets at him, please. Oh, there he is, oh my God. He's dead. On top of the base. Jeez. Okay guys, well, I hope that gives you all a taste of silica. If you would like to see more silica content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we will dive further into this game as it continues to develop. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.